Hey there, YouTube. Welcome to Sketchbook Habit Day 29. I'm Tori. Thank you so much for being here with me today. And uh, I'm working on a draw this again of something I did back in Sketchbook Video Habit in 2016. I don't know which episode this was or what I was thinking back then. For this whole challenge, I'm not referencing any of those videos so I don't get influenced. But yes, um, this may not be a fair uh, draw this again challenge because I believe when I did the initial portrait, I was using um, a new art supply that was, I think it was the Yasutomo. Essentially, they were pearlescent watercolors, rather gummy. Um, I think I had a difficult time using them. I don't have it in my collection anymore. I gave those away. So with that said, um, I'm not sure if this is like a fair draw this again, but I'm really inspired to do it. So in my little studio at home, I have a whole wall of prints that I used to take with me on my convention trips. And over time, they have one by one fallen off the wall. So the last one hanging on my wall is this uh, Sailor Saturn. And I was looking at it and I was like, you know what? I want to revisit that. So I'm taking the opportunity today. I did this sketch in yesterday's video, trying out the Denise Soden's uh, collaboration with Da Vinci. It is the Earth Friendly 24 Pan Palette. It is so beautiful. So yesterday I did already like plan out what colors I was going to paint with. Um, it was the Res res <laughs> red rose deep pv19 and the what was the other color that i was interested in using oh yeah in dantherine blue using pb60 and i also use oh yeah one of my favorite colors green gold using py129 so these are different colors compared to what i used in yesterday's video you see what i did there i'm doing my best to explore this palette uh, okay, so let's talk about how this artwork went today. Uh, what you are seeing right now uh, was something that I abandoned and I'm choosing to leave this footage in here today because it kind of it makes sense to like what I did afterwards and I'm going to talk about, yes, let's start. Um, so when I did this painting today, I did my best to not get influenced by the previous painting and um, I did pull out the previous painting and I did pull up some reference of Sailor Saturn just to get like a quick uh, what does she look like again? What matches with what? Like does her uh, bow match with her collar? What are her eye colors? Just like little notes like that because I know when I do fan art I don't usually use like the exact same colors like I'll use something similar but Something that's enjoyable for me in fan art is just kind of taking a different color story and matching it with the character and just make it either pastel -y or moody, just something that doesn't like literally eye drop color from the source material. Um, so I did have a little challenge with this today because my brain was split in three different directions. Um, it was thinking of the source material, it was thinking of 2016 Tori, and it was thinking of current Tori of how does she want to approach this draw list again and like what would she bring to the table and, and I found myself jumping around a little too much and I wasn't feeling what I was putting down. Like, it wasn't a bad painting. Um, so yeah, it was essentially not how I wanted to capture 2020 Tori. Um, I think 2016 Tori was super into bright saturated colors. Don't get me wrong, I still am today. Um, I've learned to embrace more neutral colors over time. Uh, especially now, I actually really, really do enjoy more browns, more grays. I feel like I'm finally embracing what my teachers have been preaching to me when I was in college taking color theory. And <laughs> um, I had this teacher that would walk around and he would point to your painting tray and he was like, oh, that was a beautiful brown. I'm like, ew, it's brown. <laughs> but now here I am like, wow, brown. So it's just funny how over time I've, my tastes have changed. And I felt the first painting didn't really capture 2020 Tori, um, of, like what are my current interests? 
Uh, I don't know, I think it's really cool that uh, this kind of happened today. Uh, there were a lot of things in the first painting that I did enjoy about how it laid down, that it was a worthy painting session, like um, how I made a few marks that were more gestural, especially in the hair, uh, in the front part of her bangs, like those with nice little wispy marks. Those were like, oh wow, that was nice. So that was, um, even though I failed in the first sketch, I still got something out of it. Uh, yeah, even like those highlights, the little hair shines in the right side of the bangs on the bottom portion where it's like, all, oh, I love the texture. I thought it went in the right direction and it was just, yeah, it was great. <laughs> The second painting, I put away all of the reference photos and the previous 2016 painting so I wouldn't get influenced. I also did take a moment to step away just to kind of cleanse myself of the previous painting session and when I sat down and did the quick little sketch with the same pencil, um, I'm loving that pencil by the way, it's the Unifield 2 milliliter 2H lead, it's like this really thick nice mechanical pencil, it's great, it makes me happy, um, I love it when I get to embrace really cool art supplies that float my boat, but yes, continuing, um, I am using the exact same colors, uh, the rose red deep, I'm not saying that right, red rose deep, uh, green gold, and the indanthrine blue, and at some point I do pull a little bit of perylene maroon, which is kind of funny because yesterday I was using perylene green, so I'm like, yeah, I'm making my way around this palette. Um, so how I approached this piece, which was different from the first painting, was that I'm allowing more white of the paper to show through and just being more delicate with my washes. Um, in my head the first time around, I wanted to go really dark, heavy, and moody, and it just came out as colorful and yeah. <laughs> so it's fascinating that I still wanted a moody vibe, but I executed that with sheer layers in the second round. So uh, man, I love painting. It's so cool how just trial and error just gets you, you know, more discovery, figure out where you need to go, and just put the work in. Man, I love it. Oh, I had a really great day with this, especially with like the texture of the paper since it's a cold press. I got really cool textural marks, a little dry brushing here and there, and oh man, I just had a great day. Yes, it was a lot. Um, it is almost nine o'clock and I'm doing this voiceover. It's going to be another late night. Um, I told myself I was going to go to bed early tonight because tomorrow I have planned for you a rather special video that I think would be the most perfect way to end a sketchbook challenge. Oh my gosh, I almost mixed it up with a sketchbook video challenge. Okay, on that note, since it is day 30 tomorrow, I want to do something a little bit different for the voiceover. I would love to actually... Uh, take questions from you today and answer them in the video tomorrow. Yay? Nay? You know, anything that you're interested in, like how did this challenge go? Any kind of, um, what did I learn? Uh, I'm just, yeah, let's have fun with it. Let's end day 30, this whole challenge with something fun. One last thing I would like to mention, so another reason why I was so interested in uh, doing this again was that uh, I have a really good friend, both him and his wife have supported me for multiple years, uh, both when I used to do Comic-Con travels here on Instagram, and here on Instagram, we're on YouTube, <laughs> and they've been patrons of mine for quite a few years. Um, his favorite Sailor Scout is Sailor Saturn, and I wanted to bring her justice for him, and he has been super, super kind when beginning of this month, I think I drew Wednesday Adams and I posted that I was interested in making this a sticker for my Patreon and uh, whatever artwork I make this month, uh, you guys can vote for what would be the sticker for my postcard reward. Man, I'm butchering this. All right, 
So, on my Patreon, my postcard, since we're all kind of just stuck in this uh, quarantine, I wanted to give something to my patrons, something a little bit extra to pep up your day, so I was going to make a, a vinyl sticker. So as of this moment, anyone that's pledged to my postcard reward tier in the month of April, which means you have to the end of the month, you would get this like bonus sticker. So at this moment, we're kind of torn between uh, Wednesday Adams or Sailor Saturn, and I will take a vote on my Instagram. So yeah, we'll see which one uh, turns into a sticker. I'm, I'm very curious. Alrighty, dear friends, I'm gonna peel on out. I need to get to bed so I can wake up super duper early. It's gonna be a, a bit of a challenge video for me tomorrow, but I'm excited. We're gonna end this challenge on a great note. So take care, dear friends. I hope you have a lovely evening and a wonderful day. Sending many great vibes your way. Keep on drawing, all right? Bye. 